Today I wanted to talk a little bit about challenges and um, whether or not they are good to do different challenges on the carnivore diet or whether or not it's a bad idea. So first of all, the answer is probably somewhere in between. Um, for me personally, I think that I probably am better off not doing challenges and I'll explain why, but that doesn't mean it's the same for everybody. There might be people out there that they're better off doing challenges. So first of all, for myself, um, I think that if I find something that's working right, working good for me, that that's what I should do and not concern myself with trying to do certain challenges. Anytime that I've tried to think that way and start doing a challenge, um, it changes the routine that I had going and that doesn't always work good, right? So for me, I'd rather just um, find what works right at the time for me and do that. And then as I feel that I need to tweak different things in my diet, then I can do that. Um, but it's probably better to do it that way than to say, all right, I'm going to do this 30 day challenge of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs or something like that or whatever it is. So that works good for me. And those, that's the main reason why that doesn't mean that that's the best thing for everybody, especially if you are early on in the carnivore diet, you know, I, I've been doing it for a year now and, um, it's easier for me to say that I'm just going to do what's working right for me right now. If you're early in your journey on the carnivore diet, you might not have even found yet what works the best for you. Right? So you might need to do more challenges or I'm looking at doing a particular challenge because that might help you to get into a groove as well or find what works well for you. Um, also, if you're doing a challenge, it might make you more conscientious about other foods that are out there and not eating something that you shouldn't eat, right? Because you're on that challenge and you're more concerned about doing that challenge. So there's definitely reasons that I think that doing a challenge works for people and um, especially early on on the carnivore diet, it's probably a good idea. Uh, you see a lot of people out there that are, you know, talking on YouTube about this challenge or that challenge. And it doesn't mean that you have to do that challenge. But a lot of times the reason why they talk about these challenges is because it helps people early on on the diet. And they're part of the reason for doing the YouTube channel is to help people to do the carnivore style diet. Um, help people that are early on on the diet and are looking at others that have been doing the diet for a while to see kind of how, you know, the success is with it. So, you know, if, if you are early on, I do suggest looking into potentially doing challenges, um, whether it's a beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge or, um, you know, no coffee challenge for 30 days or something to that effect those can definitely be beneficial. Um, in my case, I'm not looking to do challenges. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's more of, I know what is working for me right now. And that's what I should be doing than doing a challenge. And if you're at that point in your journey, you might be thinking the same thing. Like, you know, that's what I should be doing is what is working for me right now. And in that case, I would recommend maybe it's not as good for you to do a challenge because you might actually stop the progress that you're making because you went to do this challenge and it changed the rhythm that you had going with the diet and so forth. So that's why I think that it really depends. The answer is yes and no about doing challenges. It depends on where you're at in your journey and whether or not you can benefit from doing the challenge or would it hamper, you know, where you're currently at. So let me know in the comments what you think about challenges. Are you doing a challenge right now? If you are, let me know what that challenge is and how it's going and so forth. And don't forget to like this video and share it with uh, others on social media.